so disappointed in the fact that we couldn't finish. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously as coaches, that's what your goal is. But also, you know, you, you, you care about the community and you, you want to win for them. So brings you to tears almost to, you know, see you can't finish. But, you know, we'll have to – we'll go back to work and try to do our best to, to bring a championship home here. And, uh, you know, I, uh, right now we're not real happy with the results, but hopefully we can – we can teach our players that, that we need to set the bar this high, you know, and, and being the Grey Cups is a regular thing, not a sometimes thing. And Paul, what did you guys do last night? Did everybody just kind of shut themselves up? Did you guys we had a team? function for the team and the families. Um, so, uh, you know, we had the players, families, and everything up at a function in our hotel so they could, you know, see family and spend time and have some food and, and, and beverages. Then went to bed. Okay. Oh yeah, you know, we did very similar to what we did last year, and usually you try not to be uh, end result orientated. We'll do some of the same evaluations we did last year, and whether it's it's everything, it'll range from the next couple of months. It'll go from scheme to to players to how we do our operations. We'll have a Grey Cup meeting and say how can we organize the Grey Cup better, uh, you know. So when it happens again, we're we're ready, more prepared for it. Um, so we'll we'll start that process this morning. I had an email with the free agents in the CFL, so it's a it starts immediately, you know.